In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite passing concepts. It's gonna be able to space the field, make it easy for you to make reads, and be able to attack man and zone coverages. Now that we are in the bunch tight end formation today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the play PA all cross or PA boot over, and I'm gonna show you why this still is one of the best concepts in all of Madden 23. The other thing about this play is that we are actually in the Detroit uh, Lions offensive playbook. However, you can find this also in the run heavy playbook. Now, if you wanna get my full bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link's in the description down below. It'll help you get better at Madden and learn exactly what I run on offense and defense. You get all ebooks for just 10 bucks. So if you wanna check that out, the link is down in the description. For this setup, it's actually fairly simple, and we want our bunch to be to the wide side of the field. It's going to make this a little bit more effective. And um, here's our basic setup with this play. What we're going to do is we are going to streak our tight end. We are going to in route our outside bunch receiver. We're going to smart route our outside bunch receiver. And we're actually going to go ahead and motion him to the left side. So you see here, this is what the play looks like. And we're just going to read right to left. We're going to have this nice little read right here to Mike Evans as a nice little option. That's going to force them to have to play uh, some type of hard flat. No, no curl flat, quarter flat is going to do a really good job at defending this. So they're going to have to play some kind of hard flat. I will say, if they are playing hard flats, you can kind of highball it to the outside and put it in a little bit of a uh, kind of a neat little spot uh, against that coverage. But really, this is the core concept. So again, this is going to funnel their coverage. So they're going to have to hard flat. And now we're going to be able to hit this crosser. This is the number one reason why I suggest to run this play to the short side of the field. If you run this with your bunch to, uh, I'm sorry, with your bunch to the wide side, if you run this with your bunch to the short side, you're gonna notice that an outside quarter out of cover four is going to be able to defend this crosser. As you can see, the tight end's not gonna pull the outside quarter. So that's really, really important um, to pay attention to. That's why when we run this play, we want our bunch to be to the wide side of the field. So our crosser is a great option for us uh, against man and zone, and it's going to require them to double Mabel or double flat. And so because they now have to double flat, now what you're gonna notice is we are gonna be able uh, to go ahead and attack in the middle of the field uh, with this backside in route. So you're gonna see right here, then you got your drag, your crosser, and then your backside in route right there, kind of a backbreaker route uh, when they're trying to use the crosser, trying to basically, you know, kind of pass things off. It's gonna be really hard for them to stop this backside dig because it's motioned out, you know, you're not expecting this. And again, you have these quick reads that's gonna funnel them into kind of a very specific style um, of defense. Now, how does this play work against man coverage? It actually works really well um, against man-to-man. -man. All three routes on the left side are gonna be pretty good against man coverage. The best route against man is really this first read, this little quick flat or quick crosser uh, to Mike Evans is really effective against man-to-man. -man. It is going to require your opponent to have, your opponent literally has to put a uh, a hard flat defender over in this side of the field. He has to be in a hard flat. If he's not in a hard flat, that guy is going to be open every single time. You're also going to pick up a lot of pressure with this defense because of the fact that you have this play action blocking. Then the next read on this play is really this dig. I actually threw that a little bit too early, uh, but the dig route is really a great read. That's why we want to motion him out as well. Um, so let me show you that again. So again, if they're uh, playing man coverage, this dig route's gonna be really good. Your crosser is a read. Um, if you have short and elite, he should get separation right about there. Uh, as you can see, that's gonna be a nice little man beater for us as well. And then the last read is, of course, that in route. And I'll show you that in route real quick. So what you'll see with this dig is when you motion him out, yellow zones are gonna be too far inside to guard it. So you wanna throw it about right here if it's man coverage. And as you can see, you know, basically if their user goes to this little drag, you're gonna throw that little read right there to um, 
you know, that in route. So as you can see, we're able to attack every man coverage, every zone coverage pretty well, and we force them to have to play a double Mabel coverage. And once they play a double Mabel coverage, then we can go to a setup like this, where this running back little in route out of the backfield is going to kind of catch them sleeping a lot. And we're going to be able to utilize, you know, that curl route to the left side. There's some other plays in bunch tight end that we can go to whenever we funnel them into having to play drop eight coverages. But what this play is so good about is it's a really simple setup that forces them to have to defend the crosser and defend this little check down uh, in route that is super effective. So if you wanna learn the rest of the Bunch Tight End offense, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, including our Bunch Tight End one, which I really have been enjoying. Very good against main coverage, uh, very good against the dollar meta as well. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you want to learn all that stuff, make sure you get in the Patreon. You can head down to the description of the video and go join the Patreon right now. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.